Hello, today I have a pair of jeans, but um, the stitching outside is not look like a uh, normal jean. So in this case, I I want to try to keep the original on the hems. Uh, to do the job, I want to cut from the white line to up to one and a half centimeter. Uh, but you need to careful a little bit because at the um, seam it too thick here sometimes your overlocker can't pass this place easy if you have problem with your overlocker you you can use this one and if you use this one you can cut it close as you can Okay, I will pin this one on this side so I don't lose this. And the top and top, and then I just quickly to make sure. Yeah, so in this case, it's the same. It's good, but I still need to pin it. And on the back, I do the same. And I check it. Yeah, just have a quick check. Yeah, it's very good. So exactly the same here. So now I just put the end at the same length. And then I pin it. We have one more step to check it before we hem it. Okay, I put seam to seam, seam to seam here, and then I have to check if when I cut it up, the width still the same or not. If it's the same, it's very very good. But in this case, about this much bigger. Can't tap in from this one because the stitching is we have to keep as original so now the inside leg okay from here okay slightly from the top here down yeah and then another size i will check and i will do the same Before I saw the hem, I would like to show you uh, my idea about the sewing foot, uh, which I choose to use for this job. Okay, I did one here already to show you the sample. Um, my purpose is how to make the joining of the hem here very close to the original hem. So in this case, you can use the normal one but the normal one you if you do slowly on the top here it's okay but sometimes it move left or right and if you sew at the rear here it's a little bit difficult because one size is lower than another size and this is very good uh, but you have to choose a small size, don't use a big size. The bigger size is number 16. So with this one, it's easier because one leg is lower and it can move a little bit. If you use this one, you can sew on the top of the hem and this side will stay lower and it keep the stitching running and cannot move to the this one. I have a problem because 
hear it to take and your machine sometimes can't run on this path or can't run on this path so in this case i think it is a little bit hard at the corner because this design just can use normal fabric only and when you come to the big one um, the bulky one this leg doesn't work it can move here and i would make i think the easiest way um, is this one leg zip foot and you can buy the right hand side or left hand side so with this one it's very easy you can just put it and run freely and it cannot move here because it stay the needles always go to at the rear but if you use this one the stitching a little bit far from the original hem so when you turn it over it can't stay very close like this it's a little bit open more and um, with this one I don't worry about when I pass the thick part here it's very easy to go cross here if you want the stitching a little bit in more you can take this one up a little bit and then go inside a little bit like this okay, okay. if you do the shortcut way like this the disadvantage is the dust can stay along here in future way the professional way is you have to unpack this stitching and then put this one in the hem and then cover this again to hide this line but in this case you take it one off and you can do the original stitching again big take this one in This I can't sew with this sewing foot, so I want to use one leg one. To make it easy, I turn inside out and then I put double stitching together. Uh, but the important thing is I have to make it exactly line to line here if I make mistake I will unpack it and I do again so I put together okay I check again it looks very good so now and this same exactly the same as well so okay line and line together so now i just sew all around and I try to sew close here much as i can you can pin around to make it easy to sew or you can sew without the pin so I try to take this I try to take this one up a little bit so I can get in closer yeah and take this one up this path I can get in again or 
around here it looks very good because I try close as I can but here a little bit the gap a little bit bigger but I don't think it is a matter now I just overlock around here and after overlock I just leave it like up like this and I on it um, Please support me to subscribe, like and share my channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon to get my new video from my job every day. Thank you. Bye bye.